Hi everyone, I've just come to share with you um, how I'm going to decorate this journal uh, just with some, some pockets and possibly some tags. So um, I've put together a Traveller's Notebook size journal and I'm just going to show you what I do. So I'm going to set the journal to one side for a minute and I'm going to get some paper because I'm going to be using just a coffee dyed paper to make some inserts, uh, sorry, some some pockets and tags and things. So all these kind of pockets and things aren't my idea, but it's what I use in my journal. Um, I just need to quickly sharpen, well, take a blade off my trimmer because it wasn't cutting properly the last time so I'm just going to make a couple of corner flips the Rita Donnelly flips that you would put on the pages like so so I'm going to decorate these with some digital paper that I've got printed off already um, and what I'm going to do is just kind of line it up you can just completely use the paper on its own but uh, I'm not going to today I'm going to do it this way so I'm just gonna mark it and I hope I'm in I've had to move my workspace just to get a better well so that I can work around the camera um, <clears throat> and it's a little bit darker over here so I may struggle a little bit <clears throat> I'm not going to sew anything because I've got no room to sew because of the setup. I am going to ink up and I'm just going to use glue but you can certainly get your sewing machine out and use that if you wish. So this paper here is actually a digital print from Artie Maze and I think it's the Sunflower kit. Uh, actually Artie Mays has got a great series going at the moment uh, step by step on how she is filling up one of her own personal journals and it's if you haven't seen it then I'll go over and and have a peek because it is lovely I love how it's turning out um, it's like watching a baby grow <laughs> uh, she has it's just fallen into one theme um, like a kind of autumn nature theme and it is so pretty and she's going to be very lucky because she's keeping it herself <laughs> um, so yeah I'm looking forward to seeing how that all goes I'm just going to try and line that up as straight or str as straight as possible so that's one bit done there I'm not finished with it but I'm just going to do this is how I work <laughs> um, everybody's got their own way of working um, where's my pencil gone? And I'm really confused because I'm like in a different area now. Not that my shed's huge or anything, but it's just I'm normally looking out my window. I just got nowhere to put the camera up this side of me. So I had to move it to where my sewing machine normally is. Well the sewing machine's just there, it's just um I'm sorry this keeps wobbling. I think it's the fan that's wobbling it as well because it's like 29 30 degrees outside and it is so hot and we're not used to having this amount of heat um, for as long as we've had it this is this will be our summer and it'll probably end next week and then it'll be back to rain I can't remember the last time it rained but hey ho uh, just gonna ink up around here I mean, this would be a good idea for beginners and advanced. Um, and not everybody has a sewing machine. I don't use my sewing machine on everything. Um, generally, because at the moment <clears throat> I have a sore foot and I can only use it for a certain amount of time. And it's because I have to stand <coughs> where my sewing machine is and my foot pedal. Um, I can't, I just can't lean on, well, I can't stand on one foot. <laughs> um, <clears throat> right, so that's them. Now I'm going to get some doilies. So we have some doilies. And I am just going to, 
I just hand cut them because normally when I use it with a trimmer, my dog's barking at somebody or something. <clears throat> so I'm just going to glue that on. Just put a bead of glue along there. Just a dad there as well. If dad is a word. As in a dad of glue. <laughs> that might be my son coming home from football. He's out playing football, crazy child. In this heat. Oh, I can just about walk out the house into the garden. And I feel like I'm melting. So that's that would be them. Not still not finished. Um, just getting some tickets, which I am going to just ink up because I don't have any coffee dyed. So the ink that I use is vintage photo or gathered twigs, but at the moment it's vintage photo. Um, and I only went on to gather twigs because I couldn't get hold of um, the vintage photo from where I normally get it. And where I normally get it is um, cutting edge crafts and they got free postage. And it's, it's only in the UK, the free postage. And um, they didn't have it so I got gathered twigs and I quite like that so I was pleased with that little find or the, the colour anyway. So now I'm looking for some eyelash trim. And everything is, I'm, I've got everything all kind of handy around me most of the time. So I'm going to find, I've got a little, punched out some butterflies and there were strawberries in this the other day. So I washed it out and kept it. <laughs> um, waste nothing. So I'll go for these. See if I can get another one that colour. Maybe not. Yes, so I'm just going to ink them just a little bit. And instead of using my glue gun, I am going to use my Fabri-Tac today. Um, I only recently kind of started using that and I didn't like the smell to start with, but it's amazing glue. It really is. It's expensive, but it is, it's probably the best that I've used. And the other glue that I use a lot is um, this one. But this is my new favourite. I've already went through a massive bottle of that. Well, there's a little bit left, but I um I managed to go through that in a month. I was just using it for everything. Um, so it's nice when you find something that you like to use. Um, I kind of was a bit reluctant to pay. You know, it was like fourteen pounds for the the large one plus shipping. I think it worked out about seventeen pounds. But hey ho, it was worth it. Right, so that's that. So I'll get the fabric tack out. And you just need a little mine frame. Oh, hope so. Uh, just need a little dollop of that. And I'm gonna sit that on there, just press it for a few minutes so that it stays and then just sit it to one side it does take a few minutes for it to set <clears throat> another little dollop and hold it for a few seconds if, obviously if you're using hot glue it would be more or less instant i just don't have the room at the moment to do the hot glue so Right, now I'm looking for scraps of cheesecloth or gauze or whatever in my little tub of just chuck anything in. And I've got another big tub of chuck anything in as well, but this is the one I move things from one box to the other <clears throat> when I kind of sort through it. So I'm just going to chop a little bit of that away. <clears throat> and just pull a little bit of it away so that it, it looks like it's been around for a while. Um, back to the fabric tack I'll just plop that on. Just kind of pull 
that away again. Yeah, I think it's the fan that's blowing the um, tripod. So, let's put a little bit of that on the back. You don't have to cover it all, just a little tad. me made them too now let's go on to make something else I'm just going to set them to the side to dry <clears throat> right still using paper I'm gonna make a Terry Woods flip now she's got loads of different tutorials on doing amazing things with like a full sheet of paper to make it into like a multi-purpose pocket that you can fold out and um, write things in <clears throat> so I'll probably mess these up now that I'm doing it on camera because one of the ones that she had it took me weeks to, <laughs> just to master anyway she actually she was so kind and she done a step by step and sent it to me privately <laughs> and the next day it was in the middle of the night when we were chatting away and I'd said to her right in the morning when I get up I will try it and I try I, I don't I watched it again once and there it was all done and I'm just going to kind of ink over the top of the front of this I'm not going to do all of it you can do if you wish but it will take me ages to do this on camera so um, so this is a pocket all by itself that would go into the journal like like so like that if you want it to go the other way so that obviously um, you're just gonna uh, would you flip it around no you just fold them in a diff the other way I'll, what I'll do is I'll try and do one I'll try I will do one that's facing the other way so I'll do two of them and then I'm going to decorate them as well just kind of the same bit of doily bit of um, some butterflies right so let me see so this one you would be that way no it wouldn't it would be <laughs> we'll see it'll be this way no it won't see <laughs> I might leave that no how's that going to go it's this way, yeah, it's that way. It has to be. See, even I make mistakes. <coughs> All the time. Happy mistakes. Now you can get your bomb folder and um, crease all them. So yeah, I managed to do it. Da -da. So I'm just going to ink up around there. And I will probably stop and start this to find stuff. <laughs> um, right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do a doily in that one there. I'm not gonna do doilies on everything. I don't think might add some lace. <laughs> so I just trim that again. Um, you can you don't have to leave them um, like that so they all flip out and whatever you can sew around here so that it's all one piece um, which is also nice glue doesn't want to come out now We'll do something a little bit different. I'm wondering whether to put um, two and a butterfly. 
No, I'll probably just do the same on these two as I did on the flip, the Rita Donnelly flips. So I'm just going to cut this. And then just kind of pull it about, get it a little bit straggly. Put that on so that it will dry first. The reason I'm doing these with paper is because everybody has paper and it doesn't have to be coffee dyed. You can use plain paper or you know even magazine pages or whatever it doesn't have to be um paper or digital paper or scrapbooking paper use magazine pages to make your flips but this is just how i work so let's find some butterflies <clears throat> i have actually started using some magazine pages within things um more eyelash trim after I ink that up quickly. If you don't have eyelash trim, you don't have to. Well, obviously, if you haven't got it, you can't use it. But you can just put these onto layers of paper or layers of like scrap bits of fabrics and uh, bits that you have laying around. Uh, you can cut up book pages instead of doilies. Uh, cut circles or if you have you know a, a die then you can die the die cut them to like circles or scallop circles and then cut them in half <clears throat> so it doesn't have to be doilies I get my doilies from my glue's all oozing out hang on a sec I buy my doilies from Amazon um, the large ones, 500 in a pack, and the same with the, um, the smaller four and a half inch ones, and they're only like three, four pounds, and they do last me a while. So I don't mind because when you go to like here in the UK, if you go to the range or hobby craft or anything, you get like 25 in a pack for like two pound, um, whereas you can get like 500 for you know three pound. Um, the shops they do know how to rip you off um, for certain items but if you look it, I get them and it's under the catering section for the, the doilies right Let's see move that because it's still a bit wet I'll just put a little I'm probably gonna have to order another one of these next week <coughs> I am going through it a lot. And I don't even notice the smell anymore. Isn't that funny? When I first got it, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to choke to death on this. But I didn't. Right, now, like I said, you can you can sew them up to, to make one whole pocket or you can leave it like that where they get flipped out. And obviously all the other, I might actually sew them later to make them one whole piece rather than because I haven't inked them all up properly otherwise it would take forever um, yeah I would do that I would sew it if I done it like that so I'm going to set them to one side right now I'm going to make a right this is, all depends I'm just I just eyeball this um, obviously the paper is uh, the shorter side facing me. I'm just going to take it in because I'm just going to make like a full envelope type thing. Because I'm using this in a traveller's notebook, I don't want it to be too wide. Um, and to me, that is perfect where it ends, just like here. Then I just fold it in. You can use a scoreboard, but I do it that often now. It is all kind of, it is all eyeballed for me. Um, and then I'm just going to trim some off 
which again I eyeball, I don't measure it up. I think once you've been doing certain things for a long time, it just becomes like second nature. Um, you know, and I want to take a bit off the bottom because obviously this is going to be longer than the page. So we do that. And I'm going to make it, I'm not going to fold it in. I'm just going to put the two corners, oh my head didn't go in the way then. Make these two corners up here. And I'm just going to make, just take my ruler to the point here and just out as far as I want it to and trim that off so that it gives like a proper envelopey look. Um, I'm going to ink up this front bit because I won't be able to do that once I start adding bits to it. And I am with this now if it's if you're using it on your right hand side of the page because um, I'm going to put some extra pages and staple them in here I would keep it that way but obviously if it was going on the left side of your page you would do it that way I'll staple it so it's kind of the same thing I think just grabbing some paper mm. right so with this I just need to fold it I could actually do it that way have some wastage but fold it that way and I'm just going to see where because I don't want it to be the same I want it to be just a little bit a little bit inside and my trusty pencil which you can barely see now and about here so I'm just going to quickly trim that. Now I've got three trimmers. Actually, I've got four trimmers. I'm not going to put the trimmer on the side. But the one that I find the most useful is a little cheap one. This one here that I got with my laminator. And I can't believe that it was free with my laminating machine that I bought. And my, um, what do you call that? My Stampin' Up! one, I barely use now because um, I'm forever the blades just do not last a long time at all uh, I need to order some more and I keep forgetting and it's probably because I've got the other one that I don't really um, I'm not really fussed and then I've got a uh, one from Cricut that I got with my Cricut machine and then I've got a big old office one which I've had for years and but it is heavy I only use that when I'm doing cardstock so that's right I just put that in there now you can you can sew it in or you can use a long reach stapler I got this from Ryman's um, it's quite expensive but I do use it a lot so I don't mind no, I'm just putting two staples right in the centre. Doesn't always work right in the centre. So then we have this little booklet. And so along here, I'm going to put something to kind of tuck this bit into. I'm not quite sure what yet. Um, I have loads of scraps that I can use. And I'm wondering if this will do the trick just something down the lines of that. Let me decorate this first. Now, I had a doily and it blown on the floor. It's too small. So I'm gonna use one of these larger ones. Just, I do like using doilies as you can see. I'm just gonna glue that on so. to do this a two-parters actually a two-parters a two-part um, or a three-part video because I might do all the tags and everything else that I'm going to put in this as well I was supposed to do this the other day and then I just completely forgot and it was so noisy around here that I didn't want to do the video and have all the noise in the background uh, football was on they were shouting there was kids out playing so it was like no I'll leave it so it was pretty quiet today and I thought I would use that 
opportunity to do this so let me have a look for some trim i've got some trims that i'm using um a lot i've got in these little containers i've got a few of these and i just sit pile them up on one another so what do we have here that you can use right not that i might just use a little bit of that <clears throat> So again, I mean you can use tacky glue for that, but because I've got the fabric tack I will use it because it will dry quicker. I didn't mean for as much to come out there, but it did. So I'm just gonna line that up. and get the little bits of glue off my fingers. And trim that off. There's a scraggly bit there. Now I'm gonna look for something fabric -y to put on that now. I've got these flowers. I've got these, I uh, ordered these from China. There's a shop well there's lots of shops but the one i used um yeah they're very good very cheap uh quick delivery probably within about 10 days um i was well impressed some cheesecloth and i do keep all these little tiny bits because they can be used for something Again, just pulling some of it away to make it look tatty and that would go there and just a little pop that there then some on the back of this There's a little bit sticking out there. Oops. I think I need to get using my other scissors. I've had these since I bought my first sewing machine about five, six years ago, and I'm still using them. And then I got some new scissors with my new sewing machine. I haven't used them yet. <laughs> and they are very sharp. Um, so, right, that's that one. And I can use that either, either way, whether on a left side page or a right side page, because the flower is obviously it's circular if it was using a heart and it was in a direction then I would obviously have to put it on the right page so that's that and I stencil on there actually I'll do that now um, Now, this idea is a combination of ideas from Paula Lemon and um, uh, is it Klimi? Um, Klimi Creations. She was called something else on YouTube, but she's changed her channel name. I think it's Klimi Creations. And she has done different versions of things like this as well. But I did see um, Paula Lemon a few years ago make something similar too. So credit to them two ladies. Right, <clears throat> I'm just checking the time. I'm on 30 minutes. I'm just thinking how long this video this is going to take to upload. Hey ho! Um, I'm just trying to find an envelope. Right, I have an, an envelope. Right, now this does need trimming down on one side and along the bottom because obviously it's way too wide for a journaling page. Well, it is for the, um, as you can see, like it's sticking right out. So I'm just gonna, and I'm, 
I would sew this normally, but I can't get to the sewing machine. So I'm going to temporarily glue it until uh, I'm going to do it there. And I'm going to cut it off about. Actually, I don't need to cut it off because I'm. I was thinking I was doing a cover, so I'm just going to trim that. Um, for now, it's just going to glue it. And the other side of the envelope was already glued down. I was probably going to do something with it before. So, like I said, if you don't have a sewing machine, you would have to glue it down. Um, let me just give that a wipe. And then dry it because everything will stick to it now. Right. And I'm going to fold that up. I don't have any window envelopes because I like using them. I have to order some more. Um, I ran out of them not so long ago. So I'm just going to ink that up a little bit. I'm going to cover it up so I don't need to worry about the inside and just a little bit there. I don't need to worry about the back because it's going to be glued onto a page. I'm um, just going to find some paper to cover it with. Right, I'm going to use this blue paper here. This is from Artie Mays. So I'm just going to mark it where I need to trim it. And find my paper trimmer again and trim that, set it there, and then I'll know where it is. And realistically, I only need it to come down to be better if I was in frame to about here. So I'm going to trim that off. And I'm going to ink it up. I'm just going to glue that down. just put it on like so see that would cover it and um, I'm just going to use that as well because I'll probably cover that over as well so I just need to trim that off about here as you see I'd, I, I'm not really I don't really measure a lot <laughs> and ink it up again try and I do try to line it up with the paper as in the edges of the paper on the top All right and then just a bead of glue there and there again if you don't have an envelope everybody has envelopes I guess they are cheap enough to buy you can get them from like well here in the UK Tesco's or any stationery shop in even the you know the cheap the cheap ones because you're going to cover them over with paper and stuff so it's not really a big issue if they're that thin um just going to grab my box of bits and see if i can find something to put on there um <clears throat> fly away it's too big Just looking for, I've got so much printed off. 
I mean this is just one little box and there's a massive box that you could put your cat in that's not I'm not saying that you should put cats in boxes but you could fit a cat in there um, and it's just full of paper bits and bobs I'm just trying to I wanted a word I wanted to put a word on there um, but they're all a bit big actually what I might do is just trim that moments down and not keep it within the black box that it's in the black lines that it's in this is a a word from dreams etc I would have to ink it up now I do that, I do it that way, I'm not even sure I want to use that now, um, the decisions, choices, choices, I might actually just put some cheesecloth on that, I need to trim a little bit of that off. And the fabric tack again. Just pull some of it away. not a lot mm, yeah I might put that on there could be doing with an iron I think I'm going to put that word on there at all. I'm going to find um, right, not a flower, but um, a heart maybe. Or something. See, this is why I'm not really keen on doing like this type of video because I never ever have anything planned it's just maybe just the papers or the kit that I'm using but everything else just is um, it's just you know what's what's around me what's you know and I can spend ages looking and deciding uh, We'll put that heart there and maybe a bit of bling. Now this I would actually use my glue gun for, so I'm gonna hope I'm just hoping that this Fabri-Tac works. I've seen people use it for everything. There we go, so that's that pocket. Right, what I'm going to do now is stop that there, pull out a few things and come back for a few more pockets. So watch out for part two.